While many people are on edge, of course, about COVID-19, this year's flu season is still underway, and it's on course to be one of the worst in a decade. Last year, 34,000 people died of the flu, and this season we've seen already 23,000 deaths. With the coronavirus outbreak growing, infectious disease specialists are on high alert as well. And scientists say there might be a new drug to stop influenza and COVID-19 in their tracks. The sneezing, <coughs> the coughing, and the body aches. I couldn't move, and I had a high fever of over 100, and that stayed the same for three days. Robert Cox knows firsthand how miserable the flu can be. Now he works on a Georgia State University research team testing a next generation drug against the flu. It's called EIDD 2801. The drug works by targeting an enzyme needed to replicate the flu virus in the body. It looks so much like a regular nucleotide to the virus that it can't find a way to distinguish between it and the other ones. Allowing the drug to sneak past the virus and stop it from replicating. So it stops the replication process so the virus cannot produce new genomes that then can be packaged into new viral particles. Some antiviral drugs currently available on the market, such as Tamiflu, have been found to be ineffective against some strains of the influenza virus. But with tests on ferrets, this new drug proves to be effective against all strains. Even after extensive adaptation to, um, to our compound, we could not identify um, uh, any, any resistance mutations. And this drug might even be fast-tracked to combat the coronavirus, which has surpassed 3,400 deaths so far. Colleagues of us testing the same drug against coronaviruses have actually shown this good activity. And scientists say human trials for this drug could start as early as the summer, just before the next flu season.